Hello. Well, tonight is a night of celebration. Uh, I am currently uh, over here with a uh, earthenware bottle of mead, a uh, uh, couple bottles of hard cider, and a bowl of some mystery kush. Now, why am I celebrating? Well, for this, a little bit of backstory. The woman involved with uh, said interviews uh, that have occurred previously, overall, most of what we have been going over has been her past. Uh, some of it has been her current opinion and her current views. Uh, not so much her current uh, self or her current mindset. She has evolved over time. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, I bring this up because as uh, as she has evolved and uh, advanced and has figured out how to use her higher functioning cells, um, she in her wisdom has decided to go and send me a picture of a newspaper clipping and in it I read uh, let me sit back down if the woman in your life woke up grumpy this morning don't be too hard on her it is apparently only natural Scientists have discovered that women need more sleep than men, and chances are, she's not getting enough. In fact, the best thing a loving husband or partner can do is perhaps persuade her to get a few extra hours snuggling under the divet, or face the consequences. Scientists say women suffer more than men, more mentally and physically, if they are forced to skimp on their sleep as well as a higher risk of heart disease, depression, and psychological problems, sleep-deprived women have extra clotting factors in their blood, which can lead to a stroke. Now with this, all I have to think, or the only thing I can think of is, essentially, it's another way of excusing bad behavior. Em emotional irrationality. Uh, an apparent mental instability. Now, as a father of uh, daughters, I must admit, at first I was taken back by this, and, well, only slightly. Because in it, after the in, uh, first two paragraphs, it becomes apparent it, this is essentially nothing more than some pseudoscientists looking for some form of public funding and seeking said public funding through the emotional responses of women who are more than supportive of somebody who is more than happy to excuse their bad and hypergamous behavior. And as you can read, since I am posting this uh, image up on uh, the video, that uh, apparently, that apparently, that women are uh, inherently weaker than men, both emotionally and physically. Now, for the women that are more than happy to accept this uh, article as an excuse, while at the same time claiming to be a strong female figure, will more than happily ignore the fact that the article itself is de uh, essentially declaring women weak and incapable of managing their own emotions. Now, why is this interesting? Well, as a, as a man and someone who has worked uh, uh, in New Orleans after Katrina, I can honestly tell you that the two-hour drive I had to make into the city and out of the city after my 14 hour day of working within the city I was expected to maintain a specific level 
of uh, emotional and mental control and composure. As a result of my job, if I were to make a mistake, not only could I personally die, but so could other members of the crew I was working on. If you want to claim you're equal, but yet use crap like this to go and use as an excuse to prove that, that you are a precious little flower that needs to be protected, you're insane. You cannot claim both. That is the same thing as a woman going and running around screaming that she should be able to walk around town without a shirt because breasts are not a sexual organ, while at the same time complaining that if a guy touches her breast, that is sexual harassment. If the breasts are not a sexual organ, as these women claim, then touching of a breast is no different than the touching of an elbow, or a shoulder, or hair. They like to try and have this duality in which I enjoy and take great pleasure in throwing in their face. <sighs> Excuse me, I need to take another drink of my uh, alcoholic beverage made from honey. Uh, it's uh, Viking blood mead, if you are uh, so interested. Now, getting back on point. Within the article, it also, su it also suggests snuggling under a blanket. Uh, they call it a deval. you got to be all prissy for these cunts. Well, <sighs> when it comes to snuggling, I really don't know about you, but when I was, like, doing this stuff, it really wasn't so much sleeping as it was uh, essentially physical contact in lieu of foreplay. Uh, you wake up in the morning as a guy, your testosterone levels are higher, your bladder's full, meaning, as a combination of the two, you got a, you have a purple-headed uh, a, a yogurt slinger trying to find uh, a home. <laughs> Uh, that's actually that is uh, for those that for those that are too young. That's actually a reference to the movie Happy Gilmore. Uh, anyways, <sighs> wow, I really feel old now. <laughs> um, man, yeah. as well, and it as it states, as well as a higher risk of heart disease. Last time I checked, heart disease is one of the number one killers of men. And as far as I seem to recall, uh, with men in uh, 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 Alzheimer's and other uh, uh, neurological diseases, it tends to be a reaction to the buildup of plaque within the brain. Now, these plaques are caused by a specific protein. This protein builds up within the brain as a result of not getting enough sleep. While you are asleep, your body, uh, your brain specifically, uh, re releases a number of enzymes to go and clean all of this garbage out. So, women who are uh, effectively, according to this article, both physically, mentally, and emotionally incapable of handling any stress whatsoever, and who we all know society holds above everybody else and puts the pussy on a pedestal, they can't handle stress. They can't handle a hard time. Therefore, any actions that she takes, any behavior she displays, is obviously excusable because she didn't get enough sleep. See, I would, I would honestly like to see this turned around and say that, well, well, Your Honor, you see, the man beat his uh, wife to death because, as you can see, he hadn't, he hadn't gotten more than eight hours sleep at a time in a 72-hour period. 
Yeah, I really don't think that is going to happen. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what other little snippets can I get from what she sent? Mm, blood clotting, yeah, we... Uh, that's actually... Ha deal, that actually affects both sexes, not just one. But, oh no, we must focus on the women. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I have a daughter and a son who will more than happily tell their grandmother to go and fuck herself because she's making some asinine demands of them, I know I am doing my job. <laughs> that is why I am celebrating. Well, have a nice day and enjoy.